Yo yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another brand new F122 video. Today we're going to be racing supercars in my F1 life. Um, this time we've got the full game, so I can actually show you guys how the menu looks and uh, how F1 life works. So let's head into it. Alright, as you can see here, we're in the menu of the game. Um, as you can see, it's changed quite a bit. And they've got F1 life. As you can see here, um, customization and what you can do here is you've basically got your own home and you can change that so you can change your character of course um, and then you've got my place so you can basically change your furniture um, you can join friends that are online um, to go to your place as well and I think you can speak to them um, while you're both in, in that house basically uh, which is pretty funny uh, as you can see, you can change uh, furniture. Um, here we've got all kind of different. Oh, that one looks neat. We're going for that one. Although this one has a V6 engine, probably cooler, right? Having a V6 engine as furniture. We can change the floor. You can change basically anything. Wall, um, wall art. Interesting lighting. You name it, soft furnishing, what does that mean? Oh, that means the carpet. Anyway, and then in here, you can change your clothing, headwear, none. Oh my, what have they done to my hair? That doesn't look like my hair, surely, right? Can you change hair? Please let me change hair. What? What have they done? How do, how do I change my hair? Avatar. But that's not my hair, right? I've got more blonde hair. What a yoke. <laughs> change my... Change my... Oh, let me just put a cap on. This is ridiculous. Oh, you can also put a... Beats by uh, Dre headset on. I wear... I never really wear sunglasses, to be honest. But it looks... Insanely swag. Um, change your t-shirt and of course you can all buy the stuff in the brand shop I assume uh, we're broke so we don't have any bitcoins you can change your pants let's uh, keep our working pants on and then you can get footwear and you can buy all, all kinds of stuff with bitcoins so that's that and then you've got of course your cars your garage as you can see here supercars you can add them to different parts of your house um, so here we've got a Ferrari F8, uh, we've got a Mercedes AMG GT Black Series, uh, McLaren Artura, McLaren 720S, uh, Ferrari Roma, and then I have one spot left, so there we can add another car, uh, Mercedes AMG GTR Pro, uh, we didn't have all cars to be honest, Pirelli Hot Laps, those are all challenges, you can see we've already done two, Average, Speed Zone, Drift, um, other than that, I haven't done anything. And, well, let's do some, basically. Uh, we can start off with the drifting around the Australian Grand Prix. As you guys might know, this track has changed a lot from F1 2021. Um, lots of changes were made in real life, and now they're on the game as well. And it's wet. It's exciting. Um, we need 14,000 points. And I've already done some drifting in these cars. And... It's a lot of fun. They're so easy to drive compared to an F1 car. Actually, let me turn off the assist. Um, it's so easy to drift with them. And this should be a piece of cake. Because if you can drift with an F1 car, you can definitely drift in this. You've got a handbrake as well. Uh, you can select that in the options. We've got 3 minutes, basically, to get 14k points. But we're already on 10%. 14k. If you crash, then all the points are gone. Um, but to be honest, this is one of the easiest cars to drift. Not that much downforce. I think this is actually the car Benjamin Daly has bought, right? I'm not sure. Anyway, we keep the drift on going. We've got two minutes left and we're already halfway, so we're doing pretty well. We should throw in a 360, but I think my points will be gone then. So let, let's get the 14k points first. And as you can see, this wall part has changed. Alright, 
six gear. Alright, that's how our point's gone. <laughs> that's not our deal. Let's start over again. Alright, one minute left. We should be Gucci. As long as I don't crash again. Because then we will have some trouble. We only got 20 seconds left, we still need 4k points. We might get a little bit tight here. Oh, we're gonna come short here. Oh, we came 1k short. So I think we only got silver. Which is fine, if we would do it again, we would easily get gold. So we Let's do autocross around Miami Grand Prix in the McLaren Artura. Alright, we need a 1 minute 18. Well, I think we need to get from point A to B as fast as possible. Oh, you need to go through these thingies. Oh shit! Oh, that's not... <laughs> I might have missed it up a bit. Not gonna lie. Oh! Oh! I... Might need to start over. I'm gonna be way too slow. This is hard. Oh, that's tight. Alright, we need 10 more. We don't have much time left. Let's see if we can get it. Oh no! Oh! We just about got it right! How much longer do we have? 8 seconds! Oh, we're gonna get it actually! By 6 seconds! Lightweight! Easy! Arrival... Duel! On hard difficulty around Canada! Canadian Grand Prix coming up this week! Alright, in the Austin Martin Vantage F1 edition. So we're racing someone else, I assume. Oh, that's a nice sound. Oh, we're sitting on the other side of the car, of course. English car. We're racing Tremblay. Right, well that was really easy. I reckon the other is surely we're gonna start behind. Because this was really easy. Oh, we're gonna start side by side now. And then probably the last one we start behind, I assume. Oh, we got a brilliant start. Straight into the lead. Get shit on Tremblay. Oh, I've gone deep. I've locked up. Let's use a bit of handbrake to get it rotated. Oh. I thought I didn't do it. <laughs> I was trying to do 360, but the car slowed down a bit faster than I expected. We might need a massive lunch with the hairpin. Oh, I just bumped him.
We got a better exit. Oh, I've gone deep. Bit of handbrake. <laughs> it actually worked. Actually, we just got another uh, token so we can unlock our final supercar, the Aston Martin DV11 AMR. And that's our final one we can unlock with tokens, um, apart from the DLC cars. Now, in between challenges, let's uh, take a look at the theater. Now you can see, um, brand new, you've got your own cinema in your home where you can watch replays and highlights. Uh, <laughs> Let's do one final challenge in a Mercedes EMG GT Black Series around Spa. Beautiful combination. This thing is going to be rapid. Another rival duo. So, tre again, Tremblay. You're going to shit on this kid again. This car brakes much harder than the others. Just as much more understeer. I feel like so far, the best cars have been the McLaren 720S, the Ferrari F8, and this car. I feel like the others are all a bit, a bit worse. A little bit less supercar, you know? Like the Ferrari Roma and the McLaren Artura, the Austin Martins, and the Mercedes. GTR Pro, it's called, I think so. We're all a little bit worse than those three. Um, so yeah, definitely the McLaren 720S, Ferrari F8, and this Mercedes uh, AMG Black Series are the best cars to drive. Oh, get shit on, kid. All right, the final 1v1 race against Tremblay. Oh, he had a terrible start. We're gonna shit on him. We're gonna straight away send it. I'm gonna leave him in the dust here. A little bit of drifting right in front of him to show dominance. <laughs> oh, he's got a huge lift stream. He lifted. Oh, he got a run on us. Gonna defend into the bus stop. Do some more drifting to show dominance. True. All right, now to finish the video off, let's do some drifting around a Barcelona Grand Prix circuit in a Ferrari F8 Tributo. All right. First time drifting. I've done a lap already in the wet around here. Might have done some cheeky drifts in the meantime as well. Oh, oh, did we manage to keep the 360? Counts in my book. A bit of grass, but that's fine. I said earlier on in the video, the McLaren 720S is the best for drifting, but I am not raced in this Ferrari yet, so I want to show you guys me driving in it. Barcelona is probably the best track to drift in supercars. It's so easy to drift supercars compared to F1 cars, it's beautiful. Let's try and nip some gravel here. <laughs> Two. 
Shall we take that alternate uh, route here? Alternate layout. It's better for drifting, probably. Let's throw in another 360A. Eh? Oh, it is just such a beautiful section to drift. This track is the best. New corner there is much better <laughs> to drift around. Let's try and nip some gravel again. Oh, that's a beautiful lap around. Barcelona Grand Prix circuits, drifting in a Ferrari F8. Finish it off with a nice 360. That That's gonna be it for today. Make sure to like, subscribe for more F1 2022 content, and see you guys next time. Ciao.